Welcome to another segment of Texans for Texas. With your host, Dale Webb. Then Michael Beard. Bringing you the local news and opinions of the day. Another edition of Texans for Texas. Sorry, we have been away for a while. We have been uh, do, just doing some uh, research on some t- topics. Yeah, staying busy. Uh, busy, busy, busy. Yeah, I have some things I want to talk about today. Uh, you know, it, it, it's been bothering me for months with everything going on with this whole political atmosphere and, and the theatrics and, and the craziness going on in the world. Why do we still vote Democrat or Republican. Well, what's what's the point? Because people, don't, people, you know, like I've always said, they choose party over politics. If you have that D, you're their person. If you're R, nobody ever goes, nobody ever thinks about the other things and the other parties out there, you know? It's always either Republican or Democrat. That's how the duology, the duology always worked. Yeah, it's it's party over policy yeah. is, is basically what it boils down to, you know? And it, it drives me crazy. Whenever I bring this up to people, you know, and I brought it up several times on, on my personal Facebook page and and then a few other websites that, that we're on, and I always get the, the same response. Well, if you start bringing in third-party candidates, they're going to pull from the Republicans and the Democrats. Well, yeah. It's kind that, of the that's point. It's kind of the point, yeah, is to get rid of the, the established two-party system that we have. I mean, because all that's happening is we keep re-electing the same people that are causing the problems throughout mm-hmm. the country. It's just the way it is. You know, that's why I've said for months and months now, I'm no longer a, a, a Republican. I am pretty much an American independent, you know. That's me. You know, I'm, I'm looking for a candidate that believes in the Constitution that, you know, believes in, in taking care of the American citizens first, that believes in in America first, yeah. protecting our borders. You know, I'm tired of the big government system that's going on in the world. It's, it's completely insane. You know, government should stay out of people's bedrooms, exactly. to be perfectly honest with you. That's, that's pretty much the way it is. Government should stay out of, out of the American people's bedrooms. And out of our pocket. You know, well, all they do is they cater to other countries. Exactly. You know, they could care less. I mean, we've got another how much going to Ukraine again? $350 plus million dollars. Going to Ukraine. And again. still, to this day, since the war has started, if you want to call it a war, since that has all started, we still have no accountability of all the money we've sent, which is over, over $100 million dollars. There is still no accountability. Nobody knows where this money is. Nobody knows where the equipment is. You know, it, it, it makes no sense to me. You know, here we are. We're funding that war in two directions, if you think about it. We're no longer buying oil directly from Russia. No. But we're sending money and arms to Ukraine. Yeah. But every other country is still buying oil from Russia. Mm-hmm. And they're selling that oil to us. Yeah. So technically, we are funding that that war on both sides. Mm-hmm. It makes absolutely no sense, but that's the wisdom of our government right now. You know, it makes, makes no sense to me why we should be in other people's business. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. It, it drives me crazy. That's why I think there needs to be a third party out there running for offices throughout the country to make a difference, to make a change. And you mm-hmm. start by winning one seat at a time. Yeah. At a time. You know, you, you could have the average Joe next door who has some common sense. Get him to run for the school board, a community position, you know, something like that. Get out there. Make a difference, you know. Stop being, how, how, how would we say it? Stop being Wish you un- un- uninvolved, yeah. you know, because you've got to get involved to save this country. Yeah. That's the only way we're going to do it. We are losing our country every single day. 
under this administration, under every administration we've had, come along. The best administration so far that's come along was the Trump administration. Yeah. But they're geared up to do the exact same thing they did last time. Uh-huh. And they're still going to forget about the American people. Exactly. They only, they only care about the American people when they need that vote. When they want the vote. Exactly. You know, and it, it makes no sense to me. We need to get out of it and get away from it and and completely open the eyes of the politicians that we have been electing, Democrats and Republicans. We need to open their eyes and let them know the American people are fed up with it. Yeah. You know, our, our community group is called Texans for Texas. Mm-hmm. You know, we're about taking care of Texas. Yeah. You know, I'm, I, I have joined... And in, I think you have too. Is I, I've joined the Constitution Party yes. of Texas, and be, because they believe in what I believe in, that you know they they believe in what the Constitution says it means. Yeah. You know, you, you know we should have free freedom of speech. That should go both ways. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be freedom of speech for one party and the other party gets completely silenced. Or if you're not a member of either of those parlet parties, you get no say at all. Yeah. You know, we need to bring our voices back to this country, to the American people. We need to get out of other countries' business. You know, that's, that's, this is ridiculous. You know, we're, we're struggling here, you know, with food shortages, our infrastructure, things like that. But yet we can come up with $350 million to, to send to a proxy war. To send to to another country. Yeah. yeah. We, our borders are getting overrun every single day. Yes. And no matter what Mayorka says or anybody in the Biden administration says, we do not have control over that oh. over that border. We do not have operational control. Uh-uh. You know, they, they you know, the people working that border have said that we have no control. Yeah. It's insane. But yet we, we let this happen. We let this happen because we keep voting the same idiots in office every single time. Mm-hmm. It never fails. Yep. It never fails. I am so fed up with the Republican Party talking about when they take back control, what they're going to do. You, they haven't done nothing. They had control during the first beginnings of the uh, Trump administration. What did they do? Wasted it. <laughs> Wasted it. It's exactly what they did. They... The, the, it, it seems the minute they get power, they forget about the American people. Mm-hmm. And we need to go back to where it's 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 a country for Americans. It's yeah. our country. Yeah, for the people, by the people. That's supposed to be what it's for. You know, and that's for everybody. That's white. That's black. That's brown. Yellow. That's yellow. That's it's polka dot. Pink with polka dots. <laughs> it's for everybody. The one word, the one thing we have in this country of ours, in the United States of America, is freedom. Freedom. We have freedom of religion. We have freedom to speak our minds. We have freedom to not agree. We have, and we're losing it. It's limited freedom stuff now. We got limited freedom of speech. Limited, uh... That's my point. We're losing it. Yeah, we're not a free country anymore. I mean, we're limited on everything. You're limited on what you can say, what you can do, what you can buy, what you can do. Well, now, a last-ditch effort to have complete and total control over everybody is they're taking away our cash. Oh, yeah. Everything has to go through the government. Yeah. Yeah. They monitor everything you buy, everything you do. You know, we already know for a fact they censor us mm-hmm. on everything we say. Mm-hmm. You know, and I can tell that tell you that with my phone. My phone can be across the living room, and I could say, you know, I I need to start exercising. I, yeah, you know, I need to lose some weight. And all of a sudden, within a one hour time span, I'll have ten or fifteen gym ads pop up, diets recipes and remedies and and all that so i mean it's it's incredible what is going on in the world and we're allowing every single bit of it to happen because 
we won't stand up. No. You know, you know, we we have these school shootings that are a crying shame. Yes, yeah, so Dri drives me insane thinking about it. This is why my my my, my kids do not go to public school. Yeah. You know. And, and I said this about a year ago, and you remember, I got a ton of flack from people over uh, saying schools should be run like a prison. Yes. Once those kids are in that school, on that property, we lock them down. Nobody can get to them. There's no access to them. None. Get rid of these four-foot fences around schools. Let's put up an 8, 10, 12-foot fence with, with, fence, with, razor, with, wire. with razor wire. You know, mm -hmm. use some of this electronic technology we have that that we say we have at the border to catch these people crossing. We we could tell when somebody crossed that fence. We would know immediately. We would know, but do we do it? No, no. we don't. People are just dumb. You know that little uh, what is it? That school that gun uh, gun free zone. We really think that a piece of paper is going to keep a mass shooter from the going only out. thing a gun free zone does. Is off. lets the criminals know easy prey. Exactly. That's the only thing those signs do. Yeah. Now, if we had a sign on there that says all teachers are armed and trained, they would rethink that. You would think twice before going in. Popping in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Popping in unannounced. Yeah, definitely. But that they, they they don't. But people have no common sense anymore. They, they don't do that anymore. That's that's the problem with our country and, and where we've gone to. You know, we, we, we're, we're way past the days of Ronald Reagan yeah, and John F. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. You know, we're way past those days. I mean, we're so far gone. I don't think if, if we were ever to get control and sanity back in our country, if it would ever be the same. It wouldn't because you'd still have the leftovers, you know, those people that want socialism and communism and... You know all that crap. You know they would they would go crazy. Yeah, you know think about it. You know th think about the healthcare system in America. Mm -hmm. Completely insane. Yeah. You know think of, think about it, man. When I go to my doctors for just just to check up, just to check up, and I don't get to do them that often anymore because I have no insurance. I have to pay for it out of pocket. That's two hundred and eighty bucks a visit. I know. That's a week's worth of groceries. Yeah. You, you realize you know, it's that. It's so, insane. So it's either groceries or it's to get yourself checked out. It's either feed your family or take care of your health. I mean, I have to choose to feed my family. Yeah. You know, that's just the way it is. When I was doing really good, I, I was on medical insurance. I could, you know, it was like $100 down. Remember now, this was 2017 time. So, yeah. And uh, my deductible to go to the hospital was $30,000 a deductible. Can you believe that? Yeah. Yeah, I my wife. My wife was in the hospital a few years back. She she had a stroke, and she was in a hospital. They charged her something like a hundred dollars for an aspirin. Yeah, like a hundred dollars for, for for like one aspirin. That's not a big ball of aspirin. That's one pill. Yeah, you know that's ridiculous. We know it's we know it's a racket, and and we know who runs our government. It's not the American people. It's, it's 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 pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. It's big giant corporations. Yep. They 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 run and control everything. We have lost. The American people has lost their voice. Yeah. You know they say they want our vote. They don't need it. No. It doesn't matter how we vote. What the vote numbers are, they can change them. And it's the same results every time. Just like whenever, like like I said, remember when Republicans had control during the Trump era and then they lost it, Democrats came in. What did they start doing? Impeachment, 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 impeachment. Well, that wouldn't work for us because if we impeached Biden, we'd wind up with Harris. Yeah. Oh, oh Lord. Cat then where would we be? Hyena. Oh, Lord have mercy. It we'd would... have McCarthy as VP. <laughs> that, would be, that, would, that would be a mess. And then, if you think about it, people do not know what an impeachment actually means anymore in this country because... In order to impeach somebody, number one, you have to have a majority of the House. You have to have two thirds of the majority in the Senate for a conviction. And then, even if, and then, even if Joe Biden got impeached and removed, we'd have Cacklin Harris and 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 uh, McCarthy as VP. 
Now that would be a huge power struggle right there. Exactly. Exactly. So, 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 me being me being me, my train of thought is is how do we stop this new woke agenda that they've been pushing down our throats for months and months and months? And they have said this on national TV. There is a new world order. Yeah. There is a new world order. Look mm -hmm. at BRICS. Yeah. BRICS is uh, all against us. Yeah. You know, even the UN, the UN is the, the president of the UN is Russia. Yeah. The people who they're saying wants to bring Ukraine in to the United Nations. How, how does this, any of this make any sense? It's all about money. How much money they can get out of the American people. It's how much money they can get in their pockets, their bank accounts. Exactly. You know, it makes no sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. You know, me being me, I'm looking for somebody who is all about the Constitution. It's all about, all about the American people, mm -hmm. our country, protecting our country, protecting our way of life. The freedom, giving freedom back to the American people. Get rid of this big government BS that's going on in the world because it's driving me insane. It is. You know, going back, going back and protecting children. You're telling me that a seven-year-old has the right to mutilate their body can decide to mutilate their body and change their gender, but yet they can't decide their own bedtime. Yeah, a seven-year-old does not have that kind of thought process as an adult. When I was seven years old, I, I watched Superman. I, I, you know, I played Superman. I didn't want to be Superman because I knew that that was fake. You know, here's something else. You know, it's okay for grown men. Yeah. To pretend to be women and grown women to pretend to be men. But it's not okay for a little girl to pretend to be an Indian during Halloween. Oh, yeah. How does that make any sense? It doesn't. It's just more control. You know, it's, you know, <laughs> the world has lost... It's ra it's rabbit ass mind. It's collective mind, yeah. They, they 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 we've lost control, and the American people need to take it back. You know, and I've got some solutions on doing this. I've got some solutions mm -hmm. that that are that are easy. If we can get just get the right people and get the community, the American citizen, back involved in what's really going on. We could make a difference. We could change this country back and get somewhat of our sanity back. Yeah. Because I don't see us ever being able to get rid of this. This men are now having menstrual cycles and giving birth, and that I think that's here to stay. I think yeah. the mental illness has infected every single person in the world. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. It, it, and it is. It's a worldwide problem. I mean. It's a pandemic. It's everywhere. That's mm -hmm. the new COVID. Yeah. That is the new COVID. If you don't want to deal with people who pretend, you know, men who pretend to be women and women who pretend to be men, you don't want to deal with them. Guess what they tell you to do? Stay inside. Yeah. Seclude yourself. What well, you know, get, 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 get away from them. Yeah. That's what they said during COVID. Yeah. That is, this is the new COVID. Yeah. It's all about division, dividing everybody, putting everybody in certain categories. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's, that's not an America I want to live in. Yeah. That's not an America I want to see. It's kind of reminiscent to remember whenever the whole uh, segregation thing was going on in the 1950s and stuff. Remember how they had those water fountains colored and white? Yeah. It's the same thing. History has a bad habit of repeating itself. It's, I've said it a hundred times. People don't read their history. 
They don't know their history because everything that's going on now happened years and years ago. It's just we brought it into a modern era and we're putting it out there on a grander scale. Yeah. We're, 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 we're blowing it up. You know, you got people saying all white people are racist. Well, that's racist right there. That's that's racist. It's it's racist to sit there and say all white people are racist. That's racism. That is racist. It's my point. I mean, none of it makes any sense. I mean, this country is is on a downward slope. It's not looking pretty for us. Mm -mm. Yeah, and, you know, like I said, I mean, racism. I mean, just because I'm white, that makes me racist. That's bull crap. See. That's exactly what the Democrats have do have been doing ever since their inception. They've always pandered. Division and hate. Division, yeah, and all that other crap. Well, Republicans are doing it too now. Yeah. You know, you watch you watch some of the news channels now, and they're telling you to despise the Democrats. Mm -hmm. And not all Democrats believe no. that. Not all of them believe this, this some... cock and bull running around. Yeah, some of them are actually leaving the Democrat Party. A lot of them. A lot of, yeah. a lot of a friend of ours we're going to talk about here in a few minutes. Yep. But, yeah. yeah, definitely. Folks, we're going to take a short little break, and we're going to be right back. All right, folks, welcome back to Texans for Texas. You know, we were just talking about what in the world's going on with America. And I wish I knew. I mean, the whole world's asking the same question. What is going on with America? We don't know. No. We don't know. You know, me, personally, what I want to see in a candidate running for president or running for any public office in the U.S., and especially Texas, I've got a little list here I made. Mm -hmm. You know, I want, I want to see a constitutional candidate that actually believes in the Constitution. You know, I want, I want a candidate that wants to help support small businesses, help mm -hmm. get them off the ground, you know, help them stay alive, stay in business. Because small businesses are the backbone of our country. Yep. You know, I want to see more support for the U.S. citizen, mm -hmm. not the illegals in other countries. I want to see more support for the Americans living in this country now. Yep. You know, I want less government. I want less government control over me and my life and my family. I agree. I want less. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm fed up with the government. The government is doing nothing for the American people and America at all. You know, I want to see our public schools secure. Secured, yeah. I want to see, I want children to be safe in school. I want parents to feel comfortable sending their, their, their children to public school, mm -hmm. you know. I want teachers to teach math, reading, writing, social studies. social studies. I don't want the CRT crap. I don't want a teacher telling my kid, you know, yeah, you might have been born a boy, but you're a girl. I don't want none of that. That's yeah. none of their business. They need nope. to stay out of it. You know, they need to teach and educate our children. To be fully fu good functioning citizens. Exactly. Exactly. I want... I want to protect, I want a candidate to protect religious freedoms for everybody, whether you're Muslim, Baptist, Pentecost, Buddhist, Buddhist, whatever, or you don't believe at all. I want a candidate that, that is going to support you and your beliefs, your religious freedom. Yeah. That's what this country is founded on, religious mm -hmm. freedom. You know, I want... 
a candidate that wants energy independence yep. for America. We don't need to be asking Saudi for oil. We don't need to be asking Iran for oil. We damn sure don't need to be buying oil from other countries that are buying the oil from Russia. Nope. You know? Do it here. Texas has plenty. Exactly. I want a candidate that's going to protect disabled people who are on Social Security. Who are actually going to work to secure Social Security. Yep. Make sure these people are able to live and function. And retire. And survive. And survive, yeah. You know? You know? I want more state independence. Mm-hmm. I want the states to have more control over what goes on in their state without the government sticking their nose in it. Mm-hmm. You know? That's what I want. Yeah. You know? And, in, in, you know, pretty much autonomy. Yeah. You, you know, where the states have the control to secure their borders. Yeah. You know? And things like that, which government doesn't want you to do that. No. You know? I want freedom from government overreach. Yeah. Government needs to stay out of my personal business. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Me. You know? We need a candidate that believes in parental control yeah. over their children, over their children's education, their children's religious beliefs. You know? We need to restore citizen control over all of our government offices. Right now, the people's house... You as a people can't go in it. No. You'll get arrested. Yeah. We saw that. We know that. We know that'll happen. Yeah. And it used to be to where, you know, you can go in there and sit and watch this. You could literally go you, in there. You could go in and see and watch the operations of, of the government. Yeah. You, you can't do that no more. No. They, they don't want you anywhere near that. Mm-mm. You know? I want to restore election integrity. Yeah, no more mail-in ballots and ballots you know, and a lot of the bull crap. I want voter ID. I want voter ID big time. And it's an insult to any American, black, white, yellow, brown, for a party to say they're not educated enough to get an ID to vote. Yeah. That's, that's an insult. Yeah, that, that makes, you know, that's basically telling telling all these all these citizens that you're dumb. You don't know how to do this. You don't know how to do that. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of smart people out there. We're not, we're not dumb. I want to restore an election day. Oh yeah, no. Not election day. month or year or week. You know, election day. Yeah. Because there is no reason Texas can count all its votes in a 24-hour period, and you have a place like Maine, someplace small like that. It takes them two months to count. Yeah. That makes no sense. No. Uh, we're like the, we're, what, like the second biggest state. We can do all that stuff in one day. <coughs> one day. People. One day. Florida can do it in one day. Mm-hmm. California can do it one day, which only takes 20 minutes. I've already made it. Had a winner because everybody over there votes Democrat. Those are a few things I'd like to see in a candidate, though. Mm-hmm. Somebody that would stand up and talk about this stuff. You know? And we need term limits for... Term limits. There you go. See, now you're thinking, now, now, you got to... That's it. You know? We need, we need to find out how a politician, like, for instance, AOC, can get into office and be $50,000 in debt, can't pay her rent and bills, working as a bartender... Within one year being in office, she's a millionaire. Yeah. On a hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars a year. It's called the insider trading. How is that possible? We need to know the truth, and we need to bust them at it. Yeah. And that's Republicans and Democrats, because the, all of this is what's going on. Yeah, it's not just one party that's doing this. It's every. It's both sides here. Exactly. I mean. That these are these are things that need to be corrected and fixed. Then our country will be getting on a good track. On a on a decent track. I mean, it's not going to be fixed overnight. This is going to take years, maybe even decades, to fix this mess. You know, I have a theory. 
if you want to stop all the BS that's going on in this country with what the Democrats are doing, Republicans are doing, is there needs to be an American boycott. Oh, yeah. By the American people. The American people stand up and say, you know what? You're giving our money away. You're taking it from us. You're taking it out of our kids' mouths. And you're giving it to people who have done nothing for us. Nothing at all. And want to kill us. And want to kill us. Want to wipe us off the map. You're giving the money to them. You're taking it from us. Giving it to them. You're not helping the American people. You're not closing our borders. You're not protecting our, our, our senior citizens. You're not doing any of that. So I'll tell you what. We we no longer a boycott. Yeah. A, a one year boycott. Say so we no longer will pay a single federal tax at all. Period. Yeah. And any business that accepts or wants me to pay them a federal tax, I won't shop there. Yeah. Don't do business. Because this government this administration, our country, cannot run and do business, do the crap they're doing without our money. Mm -hmm. Stop giving them your money, the problems go away. Yeah. They start thinking about you again. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how you put a stop to this. You put, you put an American boycott on the U.S. government. Yeah. I will no longer support the U.S. government. I will support my country. I will support my state. I will support my neighbor. But I will not support this federal government. Exactly. Period. That's how you put a stop to it. Yeah. But then you're going to have those kid people, oh, well, if we start paying uh, state tax, the taxes, they'll put us in jail. Like, they ain't going to put us all. What, what, what jail? What jail? Exactly. You know, and, and how is that going to look going around arresting half the country for not paying taxes when they're letting murderers, that's the felony, let murder, murderers off the street, on the street, off with misdemeanors, yeah. no jail time, time yeah. served. Yeah. That's exactly what's going on in our country, and we're allowing all of this. Yeah. We're just sitting there. Twiddling our thumbs, not doing a dang thing about it, watching our porn hub and eating Cheetos. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Bunch of orange fingers running around <laughs> the world. Yeah. It's 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 crazy. You know. I believe the old the old saying, I, I believe my what my mom and my dad used to tell me. You know, change starts at home. I believe we need to start as a people, as Americans, as citizens of Texas, I believe we need to start protecting our state, yeah. the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. We need to start protecting our state, Texas, okay? I believe we need to start focusing more on Texas, our Texas seniors. You know, this is insane the way they are treated. Yeah. You know, we need to focus on the everyday Texas resident. Mm -hmm. You know, we need to focus on Texas helping grow and create Texas small businesses. Yep. You know, get rid of all the red tape government BS. Let's get people opening their own businesses. Yeah. You know, we need to focus on Texas veterans. We need veterans off the streets. We need veterans to have the medical care that they deserve. In my opinion, the medical care Congress and the president gets should be the exact same medical care a veteran who has fought for us. They should get yeah. They should get the exact same medical care. Exactly. You know, we need to we need to really focus on the elderly. Yeah, Texas needs to set up and say, when you retire at sixty five, 
you no longer pay property tax. You own that house? That's your, That's house. your house. That's your property. I'm not going to tax you anything for something you worked your butt off for. Mm -hmm. Paid it off. I'm not going to take money from you. That is yours. You own it. Yep. They need to do that to every single vet that has fought in a foreign war and come home. If they own property, they no longer pay taxes on it. Exactly. They no longer pay taxes on it. That's what I believe. I believe Texas needs to stand up for its children. I think Texas needs to sit here and go, School shootings in Texas no longer exist. Exactly. And we don't have to take away we, the guns. We are securing our Texas schools. Yes. Period. Mm -hmm. Eight, ten, twelve foot fences with razor wire. Electronic sensors to where once them gates are locked, them children are, children are in school. Somebody climbs that fence. Somebody cuts that fence. Tries to come across that line. You know about it. The yeah. police are there. Mm -hmm. School security is there. Protect the kids. We need to give full and total control over the school systems to the Texas residents, exactly. to the citizens. Yeah, because we're the one that pays the school tax. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. They're always saying, you know, we're going to use, we're going to use, we're, we're, we're going to use taxes to to do this and to do that. So in other words, you're saying I'm paying for it. So that means I own it. Exactly. That means I should have a say in how it's secured and how it is run. But we don't we don't we don't get that privilege. No, we don't. We just get told how much we got to give them mm -hmm. to be a part of their society. Yeah. And it's it's unacceptable. Yeah. It's completely unacceptable. Yeah, I don't think that our uh, forefathers and ancestors would have put up with this crap. That's why they want to get rid of the Constitution so bad. It's because people like me, people mm -hmm. like you, and, and millions of Americans around this country that believe in the Constitution. Uh -huh. You know, we do not get our rights from the federal government. No, nope, to get them from God. Our rights come from the man upstairs, God Almighty. Yes. You know, and the federal government has come in and said, you get nothing unless we say you can have it. Mm -hmm. No. No. No, unacceptable. I do not accept it. Well, I will not accept it. Yeah. <coughs> Start in Texas. Fill these Texas offices with Constitution Constitution candidates. Mm -hmm. Put them in there. They believe in the Constitution. And if the government, U.S. government, still gives you that much problems, then actually think about secession. Exactly. We fought to keep this, this land. We fought to get this land. Yeah. I'm sure we can fight to keep Texas, make Texas free, yeah. if we had to. Yeah. We don't want to. I'm not calling for violence. I'm not calling for civil war. I mean, that's that's the other party's answer to everything. Mm -hmm. Not mine. Nope. Violence gets you nowhere. Violence gets you more violence. That's, that's exactly what it gets you. I'm just... I'm just saying... Something has to be done. Exactly. Something has to be changed. Mm -hmm. And it's the American people's ability to have pride in themselves. Exactly. Americans, they don't have any pride anymore. They don't have any patriotic pride. You know? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Most people are saying, I don't believe in God. And... It, Insane. Yeah. This is what our world is 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 coming to. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I'm not happy with it. 
I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. That's why I'm telling everybody that's a member of our group, everybody that listens to us on the radio, and the other 18 platforms we're on, on TV and and the internet and, and everything, I'm telling all of you, research the Constitutional Party of Texas. The Constitution Party of Texas. Yeah. Research them. We're about the Constitution. I believe in the Constitution. That's what made this country the country it is. You know, think about it. Without that Constitution, the people that are sitting there talking all the crazy stuff about the kids and stuff, they wouldn't be able to do it without the Constitution. Exactly. But yet they want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. It's about complete and total control. That's why I know one guy, and I'm going to talk about him in a minute, that is a former Dem Democrat politician. Exactly. Been a good friend of mine. Love him to death. Mm -hmm. Good friend of yours. Good friend. You know, Great but guy. he knows for a fact, while he had that D on his name, there was no way I would vote for him. Nope. He knows that. If it had an R, we wouldn't either. But even he has come to the point to where he can't stand what is going on with this, this country, this new government. You can't distinguish a Republican and a Democrat. No, you can't. By looking at them or listening to them. The only way you can tell a Democrat from a Republican is by looking to see if they have a D or an R. That's it. Mm -hmm. They say the exact same things. And it's never anything for the people. It's not. It's not. We're going to take another short little break and we'll be right back, folks. If you'd like to support Larry Baggett in his presidency, please like, comment, subscribe, and donate at his GoFundMe. Link is in the description. All right, welcome back to Texans for Texas. You know, the guy I was just talking about, mm -hmm. you know, was a former Democrat. His name is Larry Baggett. Yep. Democrat politician. He ran for governor of the state of Texas. Did pretty good. He got like 27% of the vote. Yeah. He ran for the uh, uh, the HB 85 seat or something like yeah, that. I so, believe so. Something like that. You know? And he got like 25% of that vote. Mm hmm You know? Even he is having trouble or had trouble with his own party. They refused to support him because he didn't want to go along and play ball with the insanity that's coming out of that, that party. Yeah. He wanted no part of it. He wanted nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. They refused to support him or help him. Yep. You know? And every time he run, it's, 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 it's what's, what, what, what's kind of weird. Every time he run for a public office on the Democrat ticket, he got less than 3% of the Democrat vote. He got less than 3% of the Republican vote. The majority of his vote were all independent voters. Yeah. So that tells you he was already speaking the independent and the Constitution language. But because he did that, he was shunned and blackballed in both of the main, parties. The, the main two parties. Yeah. But now, he has come out, and he has kind of created his own deal, and he is calling himself an American Independent. Mm -hmm. He is looking for support from the Independent Party. He is looking for support from the Constitution Party of Texas. And he's throwing his hat in the ring for president. Yep. He truly wants to keep America great. Yeah. He truly wants to keep Texas, great. great. He wants to keep America free. Exactly. He wants to keep Texas free. Exactly. You know, he wants to keep America strong. He wants to keep Texas strong. So I suggest anybody out there that listens to us, all the people out there in TV land and radio land, you listen to us, I, I suggest you check out Larry Baggett. Mm -hmm. Yeah, old country boy. I want to say he lives in the Magnolia area. But 
he, he, he he's, he's a genuine dude. Yes, he is. Believes in his country. Navy veteran. Yeah. Thank you for former service. police officer. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Been around the block. Mm -hmm. Supports his vets. Yes, he does. Every fun, a fundraiser we do for veterans, he's one of the first faces I see that shows up for the day. Yeah. Always. He's always there to support the veterans. Mm -hmm. Check him out. Larry Baggett. He's on our Texans for Texans, Texans for Texas Facebook page. Yes. You know, he has his own page, which is, what? what is it, Mike? Uh, uh, Larry Baggett for President? Larry Baggett for President, yeah. Links are all in the description, and they'll be on the back here. True. Back on the wall behind us. But folks just think it's time it's time for a change. Change isn't gonna magically appear. Yeah. Have you seen it ever magically appear? No. When you want to change, what did what did you have to do? I had to get up and do it. You had to get up and make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only way change is gonna gonna happen in this country. We 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 we're we're past the point of no return. You can sit there and say by us by us promoting a third party, you know, that we'll be pulling votes from the Republican or the Democrats. I don't care. No, I don't I don't care. I don't want either part any either of those parties in office. They're not good for the country. They're not working for you or your interest. They're working for big corporations. They're working for other countries. Yeah. They're working for illegals. They're trying to replace the American citizen with other citizens from other countries, but have us pay all the bills. Exactly. We can't keep doing it. I don't want to keep doing it. I won't keep doing it. No. But that's our show for today. At the bottom of the page, you should be able to see the website for the uh, Constitution Party of Texas. Mm -hmm. Research it. If you want more information on it, contact me directly. Y'all know how to do that. You can find me on Facebook. I'm easy to find. I'm, I'm not hiding from anybody. I'm, I'm easy to locate. Send me a message. I'll get you all the information I can. But keep following us, mm -hmm. sharing these videos. Like, comment, subscribe. Speak your mind. Share them on all your platforms that you got. That's right. And where's the radio station at, Mike? It's on, what are we talking about, numbers? No, no, the radio station. Where, where's it at? On Spotify? Spotify, Pandora, Apple, Amazon, um, so many. <laughs> it's it's all over the place, So, And that's, that's Texans for Texas. Texans for Texas. So look for us. Keep an eye out. And y'all share this stuff, man, because, I mean, we got to get the word out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But research Larry Baggett. And the Constitution Party of Texas. I, th I, th I think you'll be surprised at, at what you read and see. And every time you think, every time you're watching a news program, Fox or Newsmax, AON, MS, DNC, yeah, all those stations. CNN. You know, I want you to think about it. Ninety percent of everything they're telling you is not true. No, it's not. It's not true. Nope. They're, they're, they're catering. It's ear candy. One is going to talk bad about the other. We, we, we need to avoid that. That's not the truth. That is not, no. that is not news. No. So, get out and support the Constitution. And we're going to be doing some rallies and some fundraisers here in the next couple of weeks. We want to invite everybody out there to come show your support. Meet Larry. Meet some of the members of the uh, the Constitution Party of Texas, and uh, we, we we need to we need to become a family again, a family of Americans. Yes, and not being an enemy of each other. Exactly. Well, I'm Dale Webb, and I'm Michael Beard. We are Texans for Texas, and we are supporting the Constitution Party of Texas. And Larry Baggett. And Larry Baggett. So, folks, stay tuned. We'll be back real soon. Like, comment, subscribe, share this, as we said. And we will see you all in the next one. God bless. America.